What makes the sun's atmosphere hotter than its surface? We may now know. It has to do with high-frequency magnetic waves. A joint scientific team led by the Royal Observatory of Belgium, Rob, and the Ku Leuven may have cracked the mystery of how the sun's outer atmosphere stays so hot despite the fact that it is far away from the celestial object's core and primary heat source. This is according to a report by the institutions published this week. A long-standing mystery. The researchers have found that high-frequency magnetic waves could play an essential role in keeping the sun's atmosphere at millions of degrees. They may finally be able to answer a long-standing mystery. What makes the sun's atmosphere hotter than its surface? Under normal circumstances, temperature decreases as you move away from a heat source. However, this is not true for the sun. The sun's only heat source is safely located in its core. Yet the corona, the outermost layer of the solar atmosphere, is about 200 times hotter than the photosphere, the sun's surface. Over the past 80 years, astrophysicists have tried to solve this problem and now more and more evidence is emerging that the corona can be heated by magnetic waves, said Professor Tom Van Dorselier at KU Leuven. A powerful observation tool. These new insights come from the observations of a powerful tool, the Extreme Ultraviolet Imager AUE, Telescope Onboard Solar Orbiter, a spacecraft of the European Space Agency that is currently investigating the Sun from behind. The EUI telescope, operated by ROB, generates images of the solar corona with unprecedented resolution, revealing fast oscillations in the smallest magnetic structures of the solar corona. It is currently speculated that the energy of these high-frequency waves contributes to the heating of the solar atmosphere. The main question the scientists were exploring was whether the energy originating from these new, fast oscillations outweighed the energy coming from similar but slower oscillations that were already known. After performing a meta-analysis, a statistical method of using multiple scientific studies to derive common unknown facts, Dr. Day Lim, lead author of the new study, put forth a theory that high-frequency waves give a more significant contribution to the total heating generated by waves than low-frequency waves. Since her results indicated a key role for fast oscillations in coronal heating, we will devote much of our attention to the challenge of discovering higher-frequency magnetic waves with EUI, said Dr. David Bergmans, the principal investigator of EUI. Thanks for watching.